Dawson, before we start st talking about specifics from the game, your 100th American Hockey League game in Milwaukee the other night. How's it feel to hit that milestone? Yeah, obviously it's a, it's a nice milestone to hit. Uh, but we're getting down to the nitty-gritty of the season here now, and these are meaningful games, so just kind of keep my mind towards that. How have you felt about your progression this season, starting out in the ECHL and now a regular with this Moose Club? Yeah, uh, obviously I think I've taken some big steps this year, but there's still lots to improve on, lots to do. Um, and I'm just trying to be a better player every day I can be. And you've been paired up with Kyle Capobianco for much of the season. What's that uh, relationship been like for you? Um, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer, that first all-star selection. Um, he's an incredible player. He's a great guy, easy guy to be around. Um, he, he makes it easy on me out there, to be honest with you. I kind of feel like I, he's always where he's supposed to be. So, um, yeah, it's a good relationship, and hopefully we can just keep building on it. I know it's wild for some of us to watch what he does on the ice, but do you ever catch yourself just kind of watching what he's doing when he's spinning around the zone and creating all sorts of offensive chances, just wondering how he does some of that? Yeah, I, I think uh, some of the times on the blue line, the, the plays he makes, to, you kind of think that he's going to have to maybe let the puck go or just kind of put it down below the goal line, and then all of a sudden he'll be walking in on his own, going in and taking a shot on net. Um, and those are kind of the plays or maybe I'm catching myself after practice trying to work on those things and see if I can do it. But he's so talented. Uh, the, way the, the, the way he's so poised with the puck, uh, it's special. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely have caught myself a few times. But when you mentioned starting to work on some of those things in practice, when you, when you do have a player like that playing with you, does it give you kind of the confidence to try and make some of those plays as well, to hold on to the puck a little bit longer, to create some more opportunity for yourself? Yeah, I think if you have the puck, that's the best uh, defense, obviously. Um, so if I can keep it, kind of, he's always in the place that I need him to be. Um, so we can kind of work with each other to keep the puck in our own hands and not just letting it go. Um, so yeah, obviously uh, playing with a guy like that, you don't want to just get rid of the puck and kind of just being poised with it and trying to make uh, the best play you can. I know it doesn't quite line up with the milestone, but game 101 comes here in Texas. Is it kind of cool to have that kind of full circle moment playing against your former team? Yeah, absolutely. This is kind of where everything all started for my pro career. Um, lots of good memories here. Um, but like I said, these are really meaningful games. Maybe they don't mean a whole lot, these first two, but um, just to kind of get the jump on playoffs here, especially playing them too. Um, obviously, uh, we're looking to get the jump on them here. Yeah, so for these final two games of the regular season, it, like you mentioned, it won't mean anything in the standings, but is it almost important to kind of set a tone for how the next four or five games are going to go? Yeah, absolutely. You, you set it perfectly. Uh, we got to set the tone here, let them know how this uh, series is going to go and hopefully jump all over them right away. Obviously, this is their bar and they're going to have the energy, but we got to feed off it um, and kind of create our own energy. Yeah, and what's the focus for this team over these two games as you get your final tune up for postseason hockey? I, I think to just keep playing the way we have been, um, the way we forecheck, the way we defend, um, kind of how hard we are to play. Um, I mean, I know I wouldn't want to play against a few of those lines up front for sure. Um, so if we can just keep going with that um, and just let them know what they're in for for that uh, the three-game series there, I think uh, that'll be a win for us. And before I let you go, a couple of your teammates making their NHL debuts yesterday night with Brad Lambert and Nikita Chivrikov. What was it like seeing those guys have some success at the next level? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I mean, seeing Chibi get that game-winning goal, uh, it's, it's almost storybook. And then Lambo getting that point, too. It's, it's awesome to see those guys uh, kind of achieve their dreams. And, um, yeah, just really happy for them.